Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Garden of Eve. Welcome. The gates are open. Come one, come all. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you. If you're a follower and you're watching my content on my For You page, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your girl Eve. I'm always keep going 100 with you. Straight, no chaser. I'm always telling you the truth. We're doing a love reading right now. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you right now. Some of you, with the affirmations and you're trying to call in your soulmate for love, and this reading is for June 2023, by the way, although there's no time constraints on this reading, okay, because you're not waiting for the most high to bring you in your true soulmate, and you're rushing things with your little affirmations, your prayers, your little voodoo works, and your brujaria, and you just tying and binding people to you, you're, you're, <clears throat> or if you're not, doesn't matter, you're not waiting in divine time for your true soulmate to come. So therefore, you're attracting someone with addictions. Whatever those addictions are. Sex, porn, drugs, alcohol. Addictions are affecting your romantic life right now. Or this could be you dealing with addictions. Okay? Addictions to overworking so much. Workaholic, right? This is telling me that whoever you are attracting right now with your little affirmations, this is not the one. See, look. You see where it says this could be the one? It's reversed. This is not your person at all. You're attracting someone that's going to come in. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. This person ain't going to want to know you on a deeper level. We're getting to know you. Heart-to-heart uh, -heart conversation. Reversed. Soulmate. You're going to feel like this person, your soulmate, because it's on the fence right now. But this person is not. All right, I'm going to tell you why. With heart-to-heart -heart conversation reversed, but getting to know each other in passion in an upright position it's only booty call. It's a one night stand, wham bam, thank you man type of energy. This person don't want to get to know you on a deeper level. They only want to have sex with you. Okay? This person may or may not be married <clears throat> and may not tell you. If they are married, they're not going to tell you. Also, this person is not spousal material. They're not hubby material. They're not wife material. They're sex material, sex material only. Worth waiting for because you're so impatient and you can't wait for the most high to bring you the real person in. You're attracting a lust demon. Someone that's only going to lust after you. This person don't, this person could be an atheist. They don't believe in spirituality or religion. They believe in getting that, getting the drawers. That's what they believe in. This is who you're attracting. This is not your person. And who you're attracting to is for the streets. There would be a cultural difference between y'all. This person is very attracted to your skin, your hair, your nails, your big booty, your big D, whatever. It's it, all physical. It's all physical. This is a shallow how that you're attracting. So you might be mindful to wait. Patience is a virtue. Keep that in mind for the right person to come.